to get that result and, and maybe kind of put the losses behind? É, você conseguiu a vitória na última luta. Como foi bom você conseguir a vitória e botar as derrotas para trás? It was very good for me, you know, after some lose, I, I got my W, so I feel so happy and uh, motivated for next one. Very nice. And the, you come back with another main event. I mean, is this still special for you to be in a, a headlining fight of a UFC? I like, I like, you know, uh, I like to, to fight main event, you know, and uh, five rounds make me more excited. I like to challenge myself. Five rounds is a challenge. <laughs> no doubt. Uh, Ankulayev is kind of the, the new name in the division that's been making his way up. So what did you think when they gave you him as an opponent? Ankulayev is a name new. He's a guy who's been coming very well in the division. What did you think when they gave him as your opponent? Ankalaev is a tough guy, you know, no question about that. And uh, but I'm here to fight against the, the best fighters of the world, you know, the best of this division. So just one more fight, one one more challenge for me, and I'm so excited to fight against him. Have you watched his rise up the division and is this a fight that you thought you would have to take at some point? Você viu a subida dele na divisão? E essa é uma luta que você achou que você teria que fazer em algum ponto? Não, eu só his fights, I watched his fights, but uh, no, I watched every uh, fight of my division. So I know I can have possibility to fight any one of this division. So but uh, no just one more fight. A lot of people are saying that he's a future title challenger, maybe even a champion. When you see his fights, do you see that quality of skill in him? Yeah, absolutely. He has quality. He's a, like I said, he's a, a good fight, you know. It's a one more prospect, you know. And uh, yeah, he's a good guy, you know, very tough fight, a big challenge for me, but I'm here. I'm here to fight against him to prove that I can beat anyone in this division and become champion. You said you like the five rounds. Do you think this is the type of fight that will go five rounds, or do you think it's a fight that you can end early, maybe get a big knockout, something like that? You never know. You know, you can't predict. Uh, you know, uh, I fought against other guys, the strikers too. You know, everyone expected a knockout, but it didn't happen. We never know, so I, I, I came to five rounds because I know it's a possibility. So if it's happened, I'm waiting. After your last fight, has your mentality changed? I know you, your health and you didn't know if the injuries were good and all that. Do you feel like your mentality changed at all after the last win? Uh, I think every single fight, I become better, you know, more confident, healthy. So every fight I become better. I'm sure this fight I'm going to fight better than my last one. So it's pretty sure about that. Yes. And of course, you're still at the very top of the division. So are you thinking at all about what comes next, whether it be rankings or other opponents? Do you worry about that at all? I'm not worried worry about, about what, you know. It's my job. It's fights. It's what I like to do, you know. If I worry, I'm not do this. So I'm not worried at all. It's one more fight, and I will keep fight, you know, and uh, follow my my dreams, you know. And it is nothing, nothing to worry about. Right. Last thing for me, when you play this fight out in your head, you know, two big, strong, powerful guys. Do you see a, a, an explosive fight, a battle? Do you see you know back and forth? Do you see you dominating? How do you th see this play out? I think it's going to be a very interesting fight, you know. Uh, he's uh, so smart uh, on his feet. You know, he's smart, uh, but he uh, is danger. You know, he, we, we, uh, we are a, li a little bit similar. If you, if you see, if you watch his fight, we, we are a little bit similar. We, li we like to keep the distance, you know. We don't like to 
to to take some risk, like go to 50-50, you know. Uh, we are smart. It's going to be like, you know, uh, sh xadrez. Chess game. Chess game fight, yeah. Tiago. Uh, I just wanted your thoughts on uh, the Glover Teixeira versus Yuri fight that's happening in a couple months. Um, what are your thoughts on the fight and uh, who's going to win? Uh, I support Glover Teixeira for sure. You know, I'm so happy for him. In this age, he b became champion. And I know it's a very tough fight for him, you know. But, yeah, I hope he can can make his plan and uh, take downs and put uh, his jiu-jitsu on the, on the, on the, inside the octagon, and I think he can, can get this victory. If he take uh, Yuri down, I think he can dominate him. Um, and finally, he, talking about Glover, um, you said that he, he inspires you because he became champion at an older age. Um, do you look at him as, as inspiration, and maybe you, you can do that as well? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, first, uh, first of all, I'm so happy for him, and second, sure, he inspiration me. You know, uh, I, I, 38 years old. You know, he's 42, I think. You know, and he's the the top of this division. He's number one. He's a champion. Absolutely, he uh, inspired not uh, not only me but all the fighters too. Thank you. Marreta, tudo bom? Tudo bem. Fazer em português rapidinho aqui. Marreta, uh, essa, se eu não me engano, vai ser sua sexta ou, ou quinta main event nas suas últimas seis, cinco lutas, apenas uma não foi. Questão de motivação, ainda com fazer luta de alto nível, liderar cards do, do UFC, o quanto isso te motiva extra? extra não? É, com, com certeza me motiva muito mais, porque, como eu falei, uh, tá na, uh, encabeçando o evento fazendo cinco rounds, isso é uma motivação a mais, eu, é uma responsabilidade a mais, eu tenho que treinar mais, eu tenho que me preparar mais, então isso me motiva mais, entendeu? É, é o que, eu, é o que é, é, me, me, me puxa, me, me, me puxa, entendeu? Me empurra, me motiva a pegar essas lutas principais. O quão importante foi para você vencer sua última luta, né, interrompendo aquela aquela má fase e mostrar que você ainda não só ainda, mas você pode lutar contra os caras mais novos, fazer cinco rounds e dominar uma luta. Quão importante foi para você anotar aquela vitória? Ah, você fala da última luta? É. Ah, muito importante, né? É, mas é uma coisa que isso vai acontecer agora em todas as lutas, né? É o processo natural. É, colocar os caras mais novos contra os veteranos. Isso é normal e não tem nada de errado nisso. Cabe a mim provar o contrário e parar esses caras. É o que eu fiz na outra passada e é o que eu vou fazer agora, sábado. Boa. Para essa luta em específico, então, o que, que a gente pode esperar do casamento de estilo? O que, que os fãs que vão ver a luta podem esperar do Marreta nesse sábado? Pode esperar o Thiago Marreta bem preparado para tudo que o Ankalaev trazer para mim, seja na parte de strike ou grappling, eu estou muito bem preparado para isso e eu vou buscar ser mais agressivo e buscar a vitória a todo custo. Depois de tantos anos no UFC, uh, te incomoda? Ou seja, bom, a minha pergunta é, você está azarão nas casas de apostas, uh, de alguma forma isso reflete para você, te surpreende? Não, não aposto, não boto meu dinheiro, então tanto faz. Já tive como azarão e ganhei lutas. Já tive como favorito e perdi. Isso não me afeta em nada. Afeta para quem aposta, perde ou ganha. Para mim, tanto faz. Show de bola, Marreta. Para finalizar, então, lutando nesse sábado, digamos, uma nova vitória no cenário perfeito, o que a gente pode esperar do Marreta para a temporada 2022? Quantas lutas você ainda pretende fazer? Uh, onde essa vitória te colocaria no ranking? Qual o seu planejamento para o ano? Quero fazer quantas lutas eu puder, eu estando saudável para lutar, eu quero lutar. Eu acho que uma vitória uh, em cima do Ankalaev vai me colocar bem próximo da disputa de cinturão novamente, de repente um, uma luta, ou de repente até mesmo ir direto para a disputa de cinturão, a gente nunca sabe. Então, meu foco principal é sábado agora vencer ele, fazer uma boa vitória, 
E aí depois a gente vê. So, two, two, two things that Diego asked that I think that are good for everybody. One, he asked, well, you're fighting a younger fighter, and uh, what do you think about that? And he said, listen, I think it's perfectly fine that, I, that the veterans fight the younger fighter. It's part of the process. I'm fine with that. And the other thing that Diego asked is, you're the underdog on the fight. What do you think about that? He says, well, you know, I've uh, won fights that I was the underdog and lost fights that I was the, the top dog. So I don't put my money on the fights. It's up to the guys that bet. I don't put my money. I don't want to lose my money. And it's up to the people that bet. 